and it puts pressure on Huhi to match him. And right here, is that a Renekton in the mid lane? That's a lot of AD across the map. Yeah. <laughs> Something else is contracts. Hold on. He's going after rain over. Here comes Mickey. Double buffs for both. That would be huge. It could go over to Mickey. Maybe a reset Ooh. on the one, but the hit comes in! And rain over stays alive as who he comes Top side as the waves are Picking pretty much even out. Another ruthless predator. Huge call of the week. And it's going to be Mickey now possibly going down. Rain over now is the target as Mickey comes right back in. His flash was up. For team fighting, not known for roaming. No. And it may be something that's actually pretty bad here for CLG later on in the game. A push for Biofrost there. Nice in. hit on the blast cone by Contracts. Mickey over the wall. They're going to dive under the turret. And Biofrost is down. Mickey putting that team at to work. What? A piercing arrow from Stixay to pull one back. Just the first. I, I say you revisit this bottom side when you have ultimate here. Or Mickey. Mickey's gonna go top side, look for maybe the blue, look for some camps here. Mm -hmm. But eventually that bottom side kill them. But you have to find a way to do that. And there they go. Teleport coming in. That one of those smiley wards is gonna be very helpful for Darshan. Ultimate's up for him, so he can cast everybody back in. Oh, the pillar! Hitting up Matt. He will not be able to use the Fiddlesticks. Ultimate is rain over, goes down. Matt uses the stopwatch perfectly to deny the incoming damage. Lorlo skirts out of the fight, and the damage is on to Hui as he quickly calls the Meek, and it's going to be Matt going down. 25 seconds on these clocks means no more participation for the Fallen. Ooh. Contracts goes down. Lambs will spite. That pulls CLG into a fall. Sense of security, and the missiles are launched by Deathly. Target down as Biofrost falls. Oh, turret bottom. First one. Turret bottom. Oh. Contracts is gonna have to flash away, but that's the first turret. Mid lane, mid lane. Then they go on. They're gonna cool flank Fuki here. Here comes Fiddlesticks. Then each time they've had a hard time trying to get to him. The fear is in, and now he's gonna be drained down. Contracts picking up his second kill. And then you have CC from the Heimerdinger and the Fiddlesticks. If you wanna buy different types of boots here, you wanna buy Merc Treads, you wanna buy Tabi, but right here in this fight want to have a good fight. That's got to feel very good for them. They just nice. used Devour onto Darshan, and now they can go for Stixay. Huge damage Mickey on the, the counter. Back. Logic Gaming, what an attack from Golden Guardians. Mickey over the wall to deter the follow-up damage. Rain over. Catches a bit of that pot. Again, where you get a few more on the map. 20 minutes in, they're still going to try to make it a maybe 80, 20, 90, 10 Baron chance. But it doesn't look like they're going to make it anywhere close. They even mark Fiddlesticks is silence, making you think you passed something, but you didn't cast it. You have that split second that can completely destroy you in a fight. The little things. Golden Guardians is working off of those huge right now. Seems like they're gonna try to get a kill on to one. A Devourer comes in as that's Mickey going down. They have to reconsider as they use Rift Herald in 23 minutes into the game. 3-0-1 for Deathly on that Heimerdinger. And Deathly has been absolutely loving this. I talked to him a few days ago with their return on investment. Ooh, not a good positioning for Rain over. He's gonna go down immediately as he's going through the very behind in a composition. You have to think about what wave clear do you have? CLG basically have, well, Tarshan, well, that's not gonna help at all. He's just threw that out and hold on. Okay. Oh, slow down with the first, brittle knock up on the second, almost a stun from the grenade and he gets the follow up. A few more shots as they flash forward to secure the kill on Darshan. The damage kind of keeps trickling in. You're charged up, piercing arrow. If you're in the back line, you just get lamp silenced out there. Oh my word, the damage from contracts right now. Absurd. 208 physical damage coming out from him along with his abilities. He's got How bad it was once Biofrost actually consumed Darshan. If Stixay stays alive, that means Golden Guardian dies. Here comes Call the Forge God. It's all in defense, though. Quickly going over to Darshan as the fight is all the way up the map from River to mid-second tier. Darshan about to go down as he uses the stopwatch, and he lives. But it's going to be Mickey over the wall. Parkour's to get himself a kill and picks that one up for the team as CLG try to route themselves on the right side. Down bottom lane, Golden Guard. So much patient, patience in these fights as well. You could easily have gone for more kills there, knowing they already had the advantage. Back for Baron, the second one of the game. In Academy, when he played those crazy Scion games, and would just absolutely control it or have another unique pick. Do you think, well, maybe they'll just ban out the talent? Eight. All right, we're just gonna go for dive, buddies. And here comes Morlo, other guy. Not even out. giving them a chance to think about the fight. Instantly taking down Rain over and the inhibitor turret. Lorlo now on to Darshan with the shots from Contracts as they are just quickly pushing CLG back. 
And the only safety they have is on the fountain, but Golden Guardians give them a little reprieve as they head towards bot lane, and now it's going to be the bottom lane inhibitor. Top could be ready for the push as well. 50 seconds left onto Baron. How far do Golden Guardians go? Yeah, it's a bad day to be a low mobility tank. They are just shredding through them. Rain over has died five times. Tom Kent, Biofrost has died three times. If you are out of position, they are just going to destroy you. And right here, Golden Guardians are pushing in. That is their second inhibitor. They're going to be able to get here, and there's no respawn yet on Reynold. Golden Guardians able to take seconds left. It's going to be Golden Guardians going for one more. Do they go for broke? Who he goes down? Ooh. Mickey gets him right at the last moment, and it's going to be a double kill for Mickey coming in as Rainover falls. Stixay gets silenced as he's trying to fire in from the back line. Lorlo taking a bit more damage than he wants as Golden Guardian rethinks the engage. Two more turrets stand in front of the Nexus for CLG as Golden Guardians look to finish the job. And that is insane. They already killed Rainover Huhi, and now they're ready to start going, but Triple inhibitor, I feel like they're gonna wait a few more seconds here. You can see Lorlo is probably gonna back here. He has teleport. But the finishing touch is on, but Darshan tries to engage. The backs are just baits. They know they have to devour out. That means Mickey. someone can definitely fall. Mickey has a Nexus to jump over, but would be very close to the fountain turret. And now it's going to be Darshan. One last barrel. Does he have the presence? The Golden Guardian wants. He goes down the kill for Matt. The Nexus in favor of Golden Guardians as they take down Counter Logic Gaming. And the Golden Guard.